Well, if there's anything I like better than a pretty woman cooking my dinner, it's two pretty women cooking my dinner. Hey. Hey, babe. Amy, this is Nick. Nick, this is my old pal, Amy. Doesn't look old to me. She looks just right. Nice to meet you, Nick. Nice shoes. Donna Karen? Um, yeah, I think. Nick's in retail. Really? Yeah. Elegant threads on Bove and Afton. Come on down sometime. I'll give you a 10% discount. When's dinner? Any minute. Mm, I don't know what that means. An hour and a half. Hey, knuckleheads, I'm home. I need kitchen. He seemed taller when I married him. <laughs> <laughs> There's a boy, Nettie. Well, it's not so bad now, is it? throughout Massachusetts are volunteering their time to oppose question five. Here's Dr. Mitchell Rabkin. We need to reduce red tape in hospitals and doctor's offices and make health care more affordable. Unfortunately, question five goes in the wrong direction. It would create more red tape and force consumers and employers to pay higher health insurance rates. Please join me in voting no on five. In 1916, a young family landed on the shores of New England. They shared a dream, a horse and wagon, and a passion for roasting coffee. So began the legacy of the New England Coffee Company, a tradition in restaurants from Eastport to Westport. Today, the New England Coffee Company proudly introduces their fresh ground coffees for the home, now in supermarkets throughout New England. New England Coffee, a tradition since 1916. The holidays, a time when families gather to share the warmth of each other's company, a time when the generation gap closes for a few precious hours, a time to indulge in the temptations of the season, a time 
to do as much free laundry as you possibly can. Stop and shop all the ingredients. Every day, WBZ means experience. Tonight, a local man is among survivors of the Singapore Airlines crash, the latest on rescue efforts and the investigation. She was found guilty of faking cancer for profit. Find out what her payback will be. WBZ means news at 11. so cute. He asked us today. He was splashing and laughing. He really loves the water. He's going to be a swimmer. He's a natural. You know, we ought to look into some lessons soon. Babies can swim. I learned to swim when I was one. Oh, I don't know, Peter. I heard you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to give them swim lessons until they're four. Really? That's crazy. You think I should call Donna? We just left. She's going to feel like we don't trust her. Besides, for you. What? I booked us a suite at the Brook Street Inn tonight. Tonight? Yep. Just you and me, a fireplace, and a little room service. You mean spend the night? Yeah, it's our anniversary. Oh, hey, come on, don't worry. I planned the whole thing. Donna doesn't expect this home till noon tomorrow. Peter, are you crazy? I don't want to spend the night anywhere. My God, Nick's only four months old, and... And Donna, Donna doesn't know the first thing about taking care of a baby. You left her 25 pages of instructions. How could she not know? Besides, he'll be asleep most of the time anyhow. I can't believe you did this without asking me. Call me stupid, but I thought you might like to spend a romantic night alone with your husband on your anniversary. Oh, so that's what this is about, is sex. Uh, no, it's not about sex, but uh, what's wrong with sex? It has been a while. We have a baby. We didn't actually have a baby. Okay, fine. You want sex? We can have sex. Meet me in the parking lot. We can be back in time for dessert. Julian, I was actually hoping we could spend a little time together. We spend time together every day? But without the baby. Don't get me wrong. I love Ned more than anything. But I miss you, Jill. I miss our marriage. I thought it would be a nice thing. It would be nice. Peter, I just need a little time to adjust. Can't you understand that? We've been together for 15 years. I've only been Ned's mother for a few months. I know I'm nervous about it, high strung even. I just want to do it right. I don't want to let anyone down. Why do you have to take a pill every day if you're not having sex every day? Fallopian tubes. Named after Dr. Gabriel Fallopius. Mm -hmm. A man. Girls, the truth of the matter is that men are all over your sex organs. <laughs> and they always have been. <laughs> now, <clears throat> once a month, an egg is expelled from your ovary during ovulation and travels down one of these tubes... Why do we need to know this stuff? Just give us some condoms so we can go home. I followed all the instructions. I did everything they told me to do, and he just keeps crying. crying. Donna, crying. Donna, crying. Crying. Donna, Donna, go wait in the kitchen, get yourself a glass of water, and I'll be in in a moment. Okay. Ladies, this is Ned. Now, now who wants to learn about ovulation? No, Amy, you're a 
judge, huh? Yep. Juvenile and family matters. Amy's the youngest judge in Hartford. I was at law school for a semester. Really? Yeah, waste of time. Just a lot of memorization. I mean, no one thinking for themselves. I was not cut out to be a lawyer too independent-minded. I bet I would have made a, a very good judge, don't you think, Law? I don't know, honey. You do seem to have a lot of opinions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always handling disputes between the gals at work. I'm a good listener. I'm a real good people manager. So tell me this. Why don't you judges ever sentence anyone to the death penalty around here? I mean, why is it on the books if we're not using it? Uh, uh well, Nick, it's, it's a complicated issue, and I... I'm really not supposed to express my political beliefs outside the courtroom. I can tell she's a lawyer. Bobbing and weaving, bobbing and weaving. It's okay, Judge, I'll let you off the hook. No, but for the record, as a juvenile court judge, my job is to try to protect the public by helping kids, not well, punishing them. some kids are them. beyond help. Well, I know. I grew up in Hell's Kitchen. They were tough then, they're even tougher now. But we're talking about children, Nick. We're Who are committing adult crimes, and therefore should be punished as adults. Amy knows what I'm talking about. She sees this every day. It's like an epidemic. <laughs> that bad. How would you know? I haven't read a newspaper in 10 years. Why should you read a newspaper with you around, Nick? You obviously know everything. I'm just kidding. get this straight, Mr. Docks. Uh, your testimony is you were in shop class at the end of the day. And as you said, your teacher, Mr. Kane, ragged on you for making a mess and you started cleaning up. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, and shortly thereafter, you say Kelvin tossed his leftovers into your pile, which upset you, right? Yeah. Then after class ended, you were on the outside staircase uh, leaving school when Kelvin shoved you and your testimony is that you fell down yeah he pushed me down the stairs for no reason and then started trash talking me and you wanted to confront him objection dead conclusion but mr doc you charged up the stairs after kelvin didn't you well yeah but, but when you got to the top of the landing kelvin was now being held by mr kane so even though kelvin couldn't attack you you still threw a punch at him, didn't you? I didn't want to hurt him, but he was... Your Honor, please instruct the witness to answer the question. Gregory, what were you thinking when you hit Kelvin? I thought he was getting loose and was going to hit me again. I never meant for this to happen, I swear. He wasn't even mad. And then he fell back and he hit his head. Back here. I should have just done what he said. I should have just cleaned up his leftovers and shot. I have dreams now. dreams every night about killing my friends.
have a quick question about placing a limit order? Sure, I'll continue to hold. It's only been 42 minutes. Thanks a lot. You uh, want to grab lunch? Lunch? No, I had lunch yesterday. I'm telling you, bud. Switch to Maritrade. Switch? And this soft hit to the 80s? <laughs> Here's it Here's it Here's it Go to Ameritrade.com. Ameritrade. That's how you get somewhere on Wall Street. because it removes tough stains and nothing kills more germs. Fact, the quest for a Super Bowl begins at home. Life demands Lysol. That's a fact. Bette Midler's voice is her life, but this Wednesday, she loses it. Now, she'll have to find other ways to be heard. On the other line. An all-new episode, CBS Wednesday. Her biological clock says time is running out. But how can you start a family when you've dumped your boyfriend? I'm Linda, Lou's girlfriend. An all-new That's Life, CBS Saturday. For 20 years, Paul Alliance has been looking out for New Englanders by exposing local fraud. Lions on the lookout protects people from simply getting ripped off. Exposing scams for just what they are, a waste of your time and money. I live for this stuff. WBZ Means News. Introduce yourself to a yellow striped playground. Drive a Chrysler Concord and get big cash allowances or low financing. And let the game begin. I was 24 years old, a chronic drug addict, facing years in prison. But a judge sent me to treatment instead, and it worked. I finished college and graduate school. Today, I'm a mental health clinician and a good mother. Question 8 permits treatment for non-violent drug users, and it pays for it with money seized from drug dealers. Treatment instead of prison. It gave me a mom. Vote yes on 8. Use drug money for drug treatment. Can you explain this? Get me a banana. I'll give you a demonstration. I've become fairly dexterous. Apparently, you provided Jenny Hastings with this condom. Her foster parents are not pleased. Perhaps they'd be happier if Jenny came home pregnant. Or give me that if it makes you so uncomfortable. I've had sex before, you know. Congratulations. Lots of times. With different women in different places, some of which might shock you. Where is this going? I just want you to know I am not a prude. I live in the world. You're a rational man. A man who plans ahead. I'll bet you leave out the next day's clothes the night before. What saves time? <laughs> These are children. 
They don't plan anything. Most of them think that abstinence means only having sex with their boyfriend. Some of these girls see it as the only love they can get. Just say no is ludicrous and ineffective advice. Uh, nonetheless, DCF cannot use federal funds to promote sex by giving condoms to underage girls. I'm not promoting sex. I'm promoting birth control and disease prevention. Now, now you look me in the eye and tell me I'm wrong. Just because you're right doesn't mean you win. That's part of living in the world, Maxine. Maybe the hardest part. So, unless you're going to change the world... That is exactly why I do this job. To change the world. And you, Mr. Potter, are too damn young to give up your ideals. Two boys. One white. One black. A schoolyard brawl. One teenager dead. That's right. And justice must be served. I don't believe you file an appearance in this case, sir. And throughout this trial, we've heard repeated testimony by both sides that the first punch was thrown by the deceased, Kelvin Duncan, and that Gregory Dox was merely defending himself. The issue is whether excessive force was used in that defense. It's a rhetorical question, Reverend Mueller. You speak up again and I'll have you removed. Now, given the defendant's testimony, the question now is whether there is credible evidence that Mr. Duncan was about to hit Mr. Dox. It is clear to me that Mr. Dox did not intend to kill Mr. Duncan. But it is equally clear to me that he struck him in anger and without legal justification. At the end of the day, I can't get inside Gregory Dox's head. I don't know whether what he did was racially motivated or not. But what I do believe, beyond a reasonable doubt, is that as angry and upset as Mr. Dox was when he charged up those stairs, he did not do so in self-defense. Accordingly, I find the defendant delinquent of the crime of manslaughter and commit him to DCF for three years. Recess. We've got an emergency bail hearing. All right. I, I gotta ask you something first. You can't tell me I didn't do the right thing. Who 
are you talking about? You don't need my approval. And why do I think I do? Because I'm the only black man you know. I'm the only first person source of information you have on that topic and you think that authorizes me to speak for somebody other than myself. It doesn't. He made a common mistake a lot of people do. Including judges and reverends. Well, they're waiting for you. I'm not moving back in. Oh, you're welcome to. I just needed to cook, and our kitchen is so small. I've had this obsession ever since the accident. I'm sure there are support groups when it gets out of control. What are you making? Paella. It's out of control. Vincent, you need a sous chef for paella. Well, congratulations. You're hired. <laughs> this is a very difficult dish, Vincent. I got a college degree. In comparative literature, which means you should read about paella. Oh, hey. You want to soak these clams? It's precisely what I'm in the mood for. Everything all right? I listened to the tapes today. Me and Russ. Why? His mother came to see me. She wanted to know what we talked about, and I couldn't remember. Did you learn anything? Just that I did the best I could. And it didn't make any difference. I told his mother I was sure it was an accident. Good. You think it's okay to foster an illusion? Only where mothers are concerned. <laughs> the truth is, he didn't give a damn. He wanted out, and he didn't care if he took me or anybody else with him. It's not who he was all the time. We're all a mess of contradictions. It's dying doesn't change that. I still disagree with your father from time to time. That's how you know that people haven't really died. They keep on annoying us. We should have fun when I go. Forget it. I refuse to outlive you, even if it kills me. States Attorney Gil Sandler, Your Honor. Christopher Sweeney violated your terms of release. We're requesting he be held. Uh, what are the allegations, Counsel? Christopher Sweeney is accused of approaching Michelle Taggart, displaying this knife, and telling her he wanted her to change her mind. Is she all right? She fell down some stairs trying to get away from Christopher. She's under sedation at St. Michael's. Uh, Your Honor. Mr. Sweeney has a right to a hearing to challenge these allegations. Uh, that, that's correct, Counselor. Why wasn't the defendant charged with uh, assault with a dangerous weapon, threats, or, or intimidation of a witness? The charges are being investigated as we speak. We anticipate he'll be arraigned tomorrow. Uh, all right. Well, subject to the hearing on whether these allegations were committed by the defendant and, and his arraignment tomorrow, I am now remanding Mr. Sweeney to detention and ordering that he be held on $5,000 cash bail.